Ahoy, my friends, Ryder here, and welcome back to another Final Fantasy VII Ever Crisis video. Today, I'm going to be taking a look at the data mine and some guesstimations for which characters are going to be coming out in this month and potentially into the next month. And based on this data mine, it does look like there is going to be a collaboration on the horizon. Now, as to why I think that, we're going to get into it here in a second. If a data mine is not what you guys are looking for as a sneak peek, then this is your cue to get out. And yeah, that being said, let's jump over to it right here. All right, so I'm just going to jump into our Discord right here, go down to all Final Fantasy VII EC news, and I'm going to scroll up right here. All right, so the remaining half, of October November banners right here okay it looks like red 13 is getting a costume all right so that's actually pretty sick I'm excited about that I honestly like if there is a collaboration I'm hoping there's nothing that's like absolutely must pull the Vincent banner and the Yuffie banner both I don't think are must pulls they're definitely super good banners and I like the changes they've made in these banners as of late um, so I'm just kind of crossing my fingers here. All right. Other than that, we have Barrett coming out as well. So hopefully Barrett gets a costume, but to be honest, I feel like the electro armor is so good. It's hard to kind of, you know, like tank that one. Um, and then Kate Sith right here as well. Now our trusty data miner is saying question, question, question. This list doesn't make much sense without another character to pair with one of the above two. Meaning, Angeal might actually end up releasing this month. Guys, I'm telling you, I feel like young Angeal is about to step foot into the scene and it's going to be a game changer. I feel like new characters with Kate Sith and his critical hit chance and Vincent with his limit break uh, increase. I just, I like the fact that, you know, they have been adding certain particular gimmicks to characters um because the original characters that all dropped in this game it never really felt like there was much to differentiate them from other than the gear they had but they didn't have like a specific thing that was their own so if angel is dropping i'm super curious plus i get what he's saying here we have red 13 barrett and kate sith right now you're never gonna have a single banner that's going to be Red 13 for the week or Barrett or Kate Sith. They're always going to be paired with one of the bigger hitters. That's why he's saying it doesn't make sense, right? Because if Red 13 and Barrett were the first banner, right? Then Kate Sith is not going to take up an entire week on his own, right? That's why the data miner here is saying that it doesn't make sense that there would, unless there's another character to pair with them. All right. Now, Personally, I hope that Angeal gets paired with Barrett or Red 13. Hopefully these aren't in chronological linear order as to the time in which they come out. Uh, because I don't really run Kate Sith them. I have the HP Shout, which I honestly think is one of the best weapons in the game, especially as an ultimate weapon. It's so damn good. Uh, but I just, I literally never use him. I just feel like his kit is just really not that built out. You get, for certain things, he's really good, but you got to have the exactly the right things to really make him work all right now we're going to go down from there okay so after that we have and this is why i think that there's a potential collaboration on the horizon right so the after that we have cloud costume tifa costume Aerith costume slash ultimate weapon followed by sephiroth costume guys this looks like an anniversary lineup this looks like a collaboration lineup these are the biggest hitters in final fantasy 7 ever crisis these are the ones that are truly turning a profit right that's why they see the most showtime in the game it is what it is that's just a uh an observatory statement but so let's go down here and read Aerith will be the next support slash healing ultimate holy smokes i bet that's gonna be so damn good guys I bet that's going to be so damn good because the featured ultimate weapons on the banners are no joke so damn good. They're so, I mean, don't get me wrong. The regular ultimates are great. I, I love them and I think that they're super helpful to have. But the featured ones, they're on a tier above and I think everyone can agree with that. All right. 
Uh, Aerith will be the next support slash healing ultimate weapon. Not sure if she will debut on the next banner or the one after. Given that the second set of characters are fan favorites, all right, because we had Cloud, Tifa, Aerith, Sephiroth, they could be collab related. I'm guessing it's either Final Fantasy X. That would be freaking fire. Final Fantasy XII would also be super sick. Or Final Fantasy Tactics. So Final Fantasy Tactics is currently rerunning in War of Divisions right now. All right. If so, but this is just my guess, so feel free to speculate. Uh, all right. Well, honestly, that would be my guess too. I am in agreement right here. Um, it looks like we have stop has been localized and can now appear at any point. I'm not quite sure what that means. Dispel is being worked on. Not sure how it will work yet. All right. So there is a dispel coming. Um, interesting i wonder if the dispel is going to be used against us at first or for us at first stop has been localized oh so i get it stop has been in in initiated into the game i'm guessing localized and is only a matter of time it could appear it stop could appear basically on any banner at this point in time so i'm guessing stop might appear on one of these three red 13 Barrett, Kate Sith, and possibly Angeal. And then, depending on if we do get this cl cross collaboration for the next month, I mean, guys, Cloud, Tifa, Aerith, Sephiroth, I mean, whew, gosh, the crystals just cannot freaking keep up. Especially if it's Final Fantasy X, if they just drop that right after the anniversary, right after a brand new character, and then drop a Final Fantasy X, it, like, oh my gosh, I can't even, like, give me a freaking headache just trying to even think about how to even begin to keep up with that so yeah guys that's going to conclude the data mine i'll do a couple pulls here since the video wasn't too long hopefully we'll get some good stuff right here uh but honestly yeah i'm pretty i'm pretty excited i feel like vaughn would be a cool crossover character balthier would be super sick obviously titus yuna uh kimari although i think that since sid is not here yet it wouldn't quite work but yeah, tactics would be super sick with Ramza and uh, Delita. Like, there's some potentially really, really, really cool stuff on the horizon, guys. All right, so let's see. I'm gonna skip through that one, and freaking nothing. All right, so I'm not gonna skip through the next one. But more or less, honestly, guys, I'm super excited about the stuff on the horizon. But now at this point in time, after seeing that like roster of characters that is supposed to come out within the next likely like four to six weeks i'm just like oh my gosh like i have enough crystals to pull for angeal and then it's like rock bottom you know so i feel like i don't know i i honestly don't know anyone in the game right now that has a surplus of blue crystals if you're one of those characters that somehow managed to you know pull the anniversary but not lose all of your crystals like let us know down below, but I'm pretty sure that the amount of people in the game right now that are prepared for a really cloud that are prepared for an anniversary or for a collaboration is such a minuscule percentage. So I don't know. Hopefully it turns out well, but if everyone has no crystals, I feel like it might not turn out to be as fun as everyone uh, would hope for it to be. All right. So I'm going to do one last poll right here. I think that we will skip it when he looks up. We're gonna we're gonna try when he looks up. I need a uh, a silver collar. So hopefully, I don't know how many weapons are in the game right now. There's a lot, so the chances of actually getting a silver collar are pretty freaking uh, tiny. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh 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 oh! It's Barrett. I'll take a shark slayer though. Shark slayer. uh which one is this assault gun already maxed out all right guys well i wanted to give you guys a little bit of a heads up on the data mine i thought that it was some cool information down there so hopefully you guys did as well uh but yeah that being said curious to hear your guys thoughts as always and yeah if you guys enjoyed this video today please don't forget to drop a like subscribe to the channel for more final fantasy 7 ever crisis content i will catch you guys on the next one peace